that would be so cool. He's been playing so hard. <laughs> I love that for him. Gonna be He's up. a legend. He really is. And for those of you who haven't been watching the uh, event so far, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And we have only, honestly, better sets coming up. And here we have Lord, but we have Jacob Bowser, and Nice. I know these two are really close friends. They're both in like the Rochester friend group that hangs out a lot. So I know Nice and Giga will have a ton of experience in this matchup. These guys have had some awesome sets today too. Uh, Giga would be remorse if I didn't say this, right? He has fought like five uh, absences today. Really, really good up smash there. Ooh. Really good call out on the, on the jump. Giga's been like in huge control of this. I know he really enjoys this matchup. He's had success against Penguin in the past. He was talking earlier about how like he had the gaps of racket, which mm -hmm. is relatively easy for him. He thinks it's a six-four matchup. There's been a lot of like discussion about whether this matchup is like, really good. I think, for my opinion, as the absent, I think it's definitely slight still favor, maybe even just because it's really hard for absent to get in. I respect that, and I mean, at the end of the day, the the player opinion of the matchup while they're in it is so big. If he feels like it's a huge winning matchup, he's probably gonna play like it is, you know? <laughs> yeah, it gives him a little bit of confidence. It can help him really just get the edge of this set. Dig is definitely the favorite player to win this, but I definitely think Nice can get a game or two. Nice has been playing so good today. Yeah, really good parry there. I know Giga loves to use Beast Dash both on stage and off stage. And I feel like that might Especially be Especially after like a pin, on. you know? So like you'll see him pin the side of the stage or pin the top, and then he'll threaten you with either uh, a back air uh, tipper or he'll go for a Beast Dash immediately yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Alright, so Nice is really getting their foot in the door here. A lot of just like drag down nair combos, which can be a little bit annoying if your opponent knows how to tech, but then you can set up a tech chase off of that. For sure, and Sylv is a tech chase monster. That was a really clean double pair there. I know Absolute loves to go for those Absolute type combos. Giga's, <laughs> Giga's experienced, he has the drift for it, so I definitely think we'll be getting out of a lot of those. Ooh, man. That was a, a scary little set of cloud pops there. Yeah, nice parry there. Nice is definitely needs to mix it up and do some behind. Nice little left still up there. Mixing up your cloud timing is extremely important as Absa. Putting some behind, putting some to control jumps. Always putting it on top of your opponent is risky because they can catch on to it and parry. Oh, yeah. Honestly, even committing to just one in general. Always putting it in front, always putting it behind. Uh, being consistent is probably... Uh, reliably consistent against your opponent is probably the worst thing you can do, right? Yeah, because if your opponent catches on to the same things you do, it can be really, really predictable. Nice extension <laughs> off the bear. <laughs> oh it's definitely goodness. Giga's favorite way to get kills. He loves to just I snipe you. Look at that poker face. He just down strong tipper back airs you. He doesn't even bat an eye anymore. Steel. Already decided his bans in three seconds. I see Treetop. Well, Trupal. you say these guys fight a lot, right? Yeah, definitely experience. I think those are really good bands. It was Treetop, Trupal, and Spirit. And we'd be going to Rock Ball. This is a, a very, very scary stage. Yeah. <laughs> it's high risk, high reward, because as I mentioned earlier, Absa means you love going for those absolute type combos. Just F tilt at ledge, three fares, three fares up air, three fares dare. You can just get whatever you want off that. Oh, absolutely. There you go. There, oh, there. Yeah, and if you ever get any kind of edge guarding string going, it could just end the stock. It's so risky. Both players here. Because Absa can't afford to just DI out like normal, right? Yeah, she's a little bit lighter. You can drift well, but you have to be really, really good at it. I have to be careful to not oh gosh. He's been getting so many extensions off of those, like, with those bears. Yeah, those bears are insane. He just seems to know where to place them. The hitbox is pretty big, but it still takes a decent amount of precision to get good with those. I feel like it's almost you just have to know where they're going to be, right? Like, no, this move is going to set them up if they DI in to be here. A lot of people start to drift out, which is why Giga's getting so much mileage off of those. Because you want to hold out and say, oh, I don't want to get hit by this. And then Giga's prepared then put you in a perfect the spot. Yeah. Yeah, this counter has actually been really, really good for Giga. He's been getting a <laughs> lot of extensions off those plats to extend for his up airs. And his play has kind of changed depending on what stage he's on. I really Which appreciate that. Adaptation. Kind of unfortunate, too, because this is nice. This is counter pick, right? Yeah, I definitely understand the intentions from Niceness, but it's not working out in their favor. For sure. Ooh, I mean, we did watch Akashi just uh, go for some crazy taking three stocks back to back. Absa is no slouch when it comes to being behind Yeah, winning, so. Absa is definitely a very good comeback character. Everyone in Rivals is, but really is a lot yeah. of the air characters especially. I saw Niceness parry on top of that uh, platform earlier. I think it's really risky because you, you can, might just chuck out the yeah. log. <laughs> I think uh, a big thing with Absa in particular, compared to Sylph, right? If you're on the same stock as Sylph, you're usually pretty good. You're, you're in a good spot. Uh, you can have that 90% deficit. That just means you hit you in neutral probably like once or twice, right? Yeah. But as long as you don't die, don't get hit by that, that killing blow from Sylph, which is easier said than done, you can really bring it back super Absolutely. hard. Absolutely. Sylph has a really hard time just like converting into those kills. You'll see you can get these blender combos, like 0 to 50, 0 to 60, even like 0 to 90. But the hardest part is just setting that into the confirm. But Sylph does have a handful of things you can do in order to do. 
Absolutely. Good. And on a small stage like this, off the top, off the side, very, very possible. Yeah. We'll get away from the. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. The Sylvanas Flying Circus strikes again. Yeah, Niceness had the idea to kind of drift a little bit ambiguously there, but the issue was that they started to hold out on the second one, and then Giga just got the second there. That's so nasty. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to be taking this to Tower. I know this is a pretty neutral stage. stage. I know Absas tend to enjoy this. A lot of the T stages are very good. Tower, Treetop, Truple, Tempest. <laughs> That's the biggest thing to remember. Huh. Think of the T's when you think of good Absas stages, like generally. Like that, all right. So I, I definitely understand this pick. It's pretty neutral. And we'll see how Gigas play adapts to this stage, because they started to change it up a lot when they were playing on Rockwall. The biggest thing for me is I want to see Niceless abusing platforms. Yeah, Ooh. that's risky. He's that's really been using this log. Um, Niceless has been so grounded versus him. Like, I'm watching him try to box out Sylvanas, and it's doable, but it's, it's really hard, man. Can, yeah, Giga Still has some uh, massive hitboxes. Yeah, with down tilt. That's the biggest reason why people consider this matchup really hard. Silva has a good time with anti-airing directly above with things like neutral BC and up air. Mm -hmm. And then Giga, I mean, uh, Sylvanas on the ground can just use down tilt. So it can be really hard. His blind spot is kind of like that angle south of his up tilt. I mean, south of his up air, but above his down tilt. So being able to act in that blind spot is the best thing you can do. And platforms help a lot for that, right? Plot drop aerials is, is one of the easiest ways to get in on this character, Absolutely. but I'm not really seeing Nicest get a chance. I think it's just Giga being really smart. I, I know one thing Giga likes doing a lot that I noticed earlier is that he'll use Howl as a reset option, which is bad if your opponent stays grounded, but if you use it in the same way that most frags use down B in order to just prevent them from landing, it's so good for continuing combos. Ooh, okay. I do notice that. I haven't really uh, found a way to think about it and put it to words, but no, that, that's accurate. He really does use it the way a Crag uses down B safely. Yeah. Uh, minus the ledge canceling shenanigans. But yeah, you probably could. You could <laughs> do that if you really lapped it out. I'm sure Coda would pull something out like that if they were still playing Silk. Absolutely. But maybe Giga as well, looks like. We can definitely see that innovation <laughs> later on. Those snake grenade uh, neutral specials are my favorite. Where you just shoot it in the air, they hit you, and then they take 10% uh, yeah, for it. Yeah, off of those Yeah, Giga's been getting so much mileage out of those back airs. That's a 3-0. Giga a moving on. That's a gigantic Bowser. Fifth. Oh, man. Nice that getting a very How respectable back set. Back land. That was, I think every game ended with one of those back airs. At least, right? Jeez. I'm sure you got like four. Yeah, that kill confirmed right there. Side B up smash. It's re you have to hold out on that. But that is like the day one still bread and butter. He will just chuck the log and you'll just be slapped with it. It's dangerous. Ooh. It's a little I harder know. in the moment to avoid that because oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's you, you get nervous <laughs> and you want to hold in because Giga's been getting so much mileage uh -huh, out of say, back air. You hold out and get back air and go, okay, that was rough. I'm going to hold in next time and you get yeah, up strong. Yeah, it's so go, risky okay, either yeah, way. Still here. I definitely respect niceness. Ooh, Bagel Akashi next? This is going to be fun. Edelis Absa, man. I, I know a guy 